Welcome one and all for the third and perhaps final time to the drive-in theater in Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I should have enough information to beat Mr. Scratch. I think it's just a case of turning on the power and going to find him. So, crap. Oh, you got yourself a little plan, do you? I do. I absolutely do. And unfortunately, uh, the giant is not part of it. So we're going to have to get rid of him very, very quickly as well. Okay, let's see. Tell you what, let's... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Did you see how close that was? Seriously, that was mental. How about how about another flashbang? Just for you. I gotta get rid of the big guy, really. But everyone else... Okay, yeah, the little guy's first, the little guy's first. Even you. I consider you a little guy in comparison to the giant. Right, we're going for the hunting rifle again. It's slow, but it's very effective. Bloody hell, okay. Well, there's some ammo over there. I'm going to need it now. So, starting off in a new location this time. That's nice. No messing about. No going down the hill. Just uh, just straight down here, I suppose, and inside. Oh, hang on. More people spawning. As long as it's not a giant, I'm not really that bothered. <laughs> it's just the big guys right now. Oh, I forgot about those ones. <laughs> okay, maybe those guys as well? I don't know. This might be um this might be a task for the Magnum, honestly. Yes, all of you at once. <laughs> oh, two in one. Oh, and it almost happened again, but instead they split up instead of dying. Shame. This Magnum. <laughs> this hand cannon that I've got. I love it so much. All right, now let's see, shall we? Uh, yep, in here again. No cobwebs this time, so no spiders to worry about. What about manuscript pages? Still looking for those, really. Um, I suppose there is another case up the hill by where Serena is. I think that was 30. I guess I can open that now. That was for the sawn off, right? Well, let's have a look. Oh, okay, it's the, uh, is it the right one now? Yep, seems to be. On it goes. So what's going to ruin the party this time? It's got to be something, right? People running in, spiders coming in, giants smashing through that. Nothing? Seriously? Okay, well, I'll just take my ammo and leave then. We're heading straight for the projector building. Maybe we don't even have to go and see Serena this time. I think Alan, like myself in a way, has kind of had enough of going back and forth and just wants to end this thing. And everything is pointing to this being the last time we go through this. Ah, there you are. Maybe they just couldn't find the door or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, why not? Oh, I think they hit everyone. Oh, now that... Felt really good. When you can line them up and just knock them down, it's great. Okay, so is that way blocked off again? It seems to be all the time, so we're going to have to go through this bit again. Okay. What was that? A, a whistle of the wind, possibly. There's some ammo over here, isn't there? Oh, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Checkpoint, fantastic. Knock the light out, so that's always good. Let's get some of that lovely, lovely ammo. Oh dear. Never getting out of this wake, never. Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. <laughs> really? <laughs> Another song to listen to while we deal with two giants and some little guys as well. Are you serious? Okay, I've got to go for the little guys first, I suppose. Okay, just just stay back, I guess. If I can just get everyone's darkness to go down, then I can just start opening fire and hoping for the best, I suppose. So this one first, ideally. Okay. Oh, come on! I can't actually go that way. No, 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 you do not. 
Okay, I'm gonna go through a lot of flares, I think. I... Did I dodge that? That's... that's remarkable. Okay. If I can just pin him back here against the fence. Come on, come on! One of them's gotta be going down soon. Okay, that's one, that's one. Now let's just sort of chip away at this one's darkness and HP. I don't know if the flashbang will do any damage to them. I mean, considering his darkness is already gone. But, I don't know, it kind of stuns him. Oh, I don't know if headshots really work on this guy, to be honest. Still. Still go for that brow. It's quite a big one. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see, wasn't there some ammo up here next to the case? I want to say yes. Is it just the case? I think it's just the case. Do I want the assault rifle? I don't think so. Oh, there you go. The uh, the projector booth and the projector is obviously working, so... Let's see. Actually, yeah, let's... Oh, God. Oh, come on! Jesus Christ. Okay. Whoa, oh. Still rolling. <laughs> what is this fucking car's problem? It just keeps getting in my way. All right. You can't stop me. At this point, you just can't. Yeah, so I was actually going to have a look at the manuscript page, which was uh, which was going to be... Uh, do we not have it? Let's see. Let's go back and go to the observatory. Is it there in the observatory? New reality fragment? New reality fragment three. So found here we are. From the pile of containers in the back. I threaded it into the projector. I swallowed hard, staring at the screen, hearing her voice. The sunrise I remembered so well only moments away. And then Mr. Sh was there, nailed by the projector's beam, caught in his own trap. He shouted at me, first in confusion, then rage. And then the sun came up and things started to burn. That sounds good. And that was the last bit of information we got from the observatory, from the signal. That is, uh, that's the last bit of the puzzle, I think. The last piece. Two checkpoints! Wow! But what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, there's another manuscript page over there. I might as well go over and have a little look. I don't know if it's going to really play much of a part in the game anymore, but let's just see what he has to read about. Serena and Mr. Scratch. When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. It seems that if he wills it, he can have complete control over anyone he sees. But it's okay, we're gonna stop him soon, I think. Anyway, up we go. Showing the same film again. Now... Hang on, what is this? What? Fountain time? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This'll end up just like before! I don't think so, not this time. Right, okay, so it's the dark fountains again, I think. I don't know, are there three or more? There might be more than that, actually. There might be four or five. Is there something to actually have a look at on the TV? Let's have a look. Really quick. I've been around for a while now, you know? Well, you've been... indisposed? Stuck in the darkness? I've been busy. I operate in the shadows. Not always literally, you understand? I'm a little more resilient than those <laughs> Oh shit, they're coming! <laughs> I do my best work in the dark. Maybe I should have started this. Uh, and there's so much darkness out there that goes deep. And the things that live in it are fast, big bastards. Uh, they don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. Uh, all that chaos and madness, it doesn't really do that much down there. It's like... Pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? 
Yeah. You can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you. You party pooper. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Not according to the manuscript page. Everything else? Do my thing? Get a bit of quality time with Alice? That's a little something for me. And I deserve it. Okay, enough messing around. It's been fun to watch you on the televisions and, uh, and listen to your sort of monologues and stuff, but you know what? I've had enough. Let's end you. So these guys, they can't stray from the dark fountains too much, apparently. They didn't want to come near me in the light. Oh, let's see. Oh dear. I don't like that. Okay, there's one of them. Right, now I should have... Yeah, I did save all my flare gun ammo for this, so... Ah! Oh! Okay, they're pretty effective bodyguards, I suppose. Really don't want to waste them, though. Really don't want to waste them. Come on now, come on. Oh, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Look at that A. Look at that HP. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is about as little HP as you can possibly get, and I'm still alive. We got to deal with these guys. I thought they were going to get destroyed as soon as the fountain went away, but I guess these guys didn't come from the fountain. Bloody hell! Right. Um, I'm actually going to make a tactical retreat back to that light because that was just outrageously close. Okay, perfect. And we can get some more ammo as well. You never know, I might need it. That's the closest I've come to dying in uh, in this game, really. <sighs> I don't know how I survived. I really don't. It didn't look like I had any health bar at all for a moment. So let's see. There's one. There's one right ahead of me. Okay. Yeah, there's four in total this time rather than three. Now, if you guys can just get out of the way... What did I say? Could you just get out of the way? Uh, maybe this time I don't actually need the flare gun. I don't know. Oh, god damn. This is not going as well as it initially did. We gotta go, we gotta go. Okay, I, I, I'm trying to save my flares for the other two. Just in case they get in the way. Speaking of which, here comes another one. Right. Okay, come on, come on. We got the batteries. Yes! Okay, one more to go and it's on the other side of the projector booth. Okay, fantastic. And there it is. It's done. But wait for it. There's probably more. It's probably not as easy as that. No? Okay, well, no. Let's just go straight into the projector building and let's sort this out. Before they come back. So, I assume you haven't forgotten the code. Obviously not. Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene, push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. Okay. So the new detail was Alice's film was in the projector. The other four we've done, so let's let's go and flip this over. Okay, so it's the, uh, the Alex Casey poster. And that needs to be like 2.30-ish. Yep, that's right. This needs to be August. The light needs to be shining on the fire extinguisher. Right, and uh, Alice's film was in the projector, and that is uh, one of these. This one here. Okay. So let's see, where, where's it, where's it got to go? In, in here? On there, I see. And is that it? Come on. There's no dark smoke this time. I think we've done it. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? No! No! You can't do this! All I did was take the things you always wanted and never had the balls to go for! It's my turn now!
Is it? Is it really you? It's really me. How? I love you. I love you. Nah, this this can't be real. This is this is part of the film. He hasn't escaped the dark place, he hasn't met back up with Alice. It's just the projection. It's got to be. A woman. A man. Two lovers. Held apart for far too long. Enveloped in the light of a glorious dawn. They both feel it. He's home at last. Are these actual events or merely a dream, a memory, or a glimpse of what is to come. One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time and another place, far, far away from Night Springs. Is that how it's going to end? I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> that was a pretty damn good episode of Night Springs. That was Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Uh, interesting ending. I don't think he actually did meet up with Alice. That was just a projection. Uh, I think he's still stuck in the dark place. Just not fighting Mr. Scratch anymore. And I think at some point there will be an Alan Wake too, so I'm very much awaiting that. Um, general feelings on the game. I thought it was solid. I thought it was pretty good. Um, definitely had a different feel from the main game. And that's both a positive and a negative, I think. I mean, it didn't have the sort of strong narrative that uh, the main game did. And I think it kind of suffered because of that. And going through the same areas again and again was a little bit tiresome. Uh, I think if it did go on another two or three times, I would have just like quit the game. I wouldn't have continued playing because it was, it was starting to get to me. Perhaps it would have been better if we went through four or five areas twice or something like that. I don't know. But it was kind of cool going back to the same locations and seeing what had changed and seeing that the characters had remembered what was going on. Um, I enjoyed it, but, you know, I can see myself playing Alan Wake again. I can't really see myself playing this game again. But that's just my personal opinion. What did you guys think of it? Answer us in the comments, please. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Tell you what, let's... Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm not really that bothered. It's just the big guys right now. Oh, I forgot about those ones. Did I dodge that? That's that's remarkable. I did save all my flag and ammo for this, so... Ah! Oh, come on now, come on. Oh, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Look at that A. Look at that HP! That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is about as little HP as you can possibly get, and I'm still alive!